What is modern civilization? How did we get here? In the very beginning, it was always difficult to make something. Usually, you would have to make it yourself. Any tool to help you stay alive express the universe of your mind. Weapons that were made for hunting animals were also used to rob others of the food they harvested or to take the woman that they pleased. It was family against family. Defense and pillaging came into being at the same time as a result of needing sustenance and a meat. It starts there. And if one is more powerful than the other, the weaker couldn't be forced into doing the work of the stronger. And as family groups grew bigger, there, were more, there would be more internal competition for accumulating power and mates. For allegiance was given to the tribe and then the immediate family. Soon it was the era of cities. Specialty was a firm institution and it was a belief that caste was inescapable. There were always the pressures, the oppressors, and the, and the oppressed. To live was to oppress another if possible. Force and denigration were always the means. Life had no value unless it was your own kin. Hate and enmity were the forces holding together humanity with love dashed in. The Industrial Revolution enabled everyone to gain tools. But getting the materials for those tools, making those tools, and finding the energy for those tools was dangerous and destructive as it had always been before. The new energy came from energy buried in the ground. It started with coal. The extraction of resources meant enormous danger and destruction. The production meant enormous danger and suffering. Yet the industrializing countries were uniform in patriotism. The social hierarchy existed and people continued to dream of ascending th that staircase. Industrialism meant immediately polluted air, polluted water systems, poor sanitation, poor food, disease, and cramped city living. As we progressed, we moved our industrial processes further away from the heart of the city. Sanitation became a thing <laughs> and improved. Sewage was created. Mechanization replaced vulnerable humans. But the pollution did not end. Many people were not far away enough and continued to suffer. Those that escaped the physical labor and pollution started the middle class above and far away from the cities. And soon it became the majority job of the minority to do the physical, mechanical jobs. When resources came into play, fossil fuels became king. And we went further and deeper to find the elements that we needed. It did not matter at what cost. Human life was always the priority. So it became normal to cut down our forests, pave roads, drain wetlands, chemically enhance our crops, and dynamite our rock formations. It was our belief that there would always be more. And before the age of plastic, throwing away didn't mean a terrible thing. The things being thrown away were those gone of value. Today, there is not a single part of the planet that we have not covered. Today, plastics are used for everything and do not degrade as the trash before it. Today, plastics have the potential to poison us without even tasting it. Today, to ensure a steady stream of our resources, we take from all other nations and sell them the products that we have made from their resources. Today, we have sent the means of production elsewhere such that others can feel the sting of the early industrial revolution. Today, all food comes affected by chemicals and technology. Today, our minorities continue to feel the oppression of race. Today, other nations exploited by American and Western forces scramble to do the same at the expense of their own people in weaker states. Today, we pollute on scales that were once unimaginable. Today, we attempt to buy and sell everything around us. Today, we are told to keep on buying on end. Today, we are told what belief to buy. Today, we are told that money is the only happiness. Today, the meaning of life is to work in a cubicle and stare at a screen such like I am looking at now. Today, we have managed the composition, the composition of the atmosphere such that we have also met. Eh, that sounds terrible. Today, we have managed the to change the composition of the atmosphere and have managed to melt the ice caps. Today, life has become cheaper than ever. Today, our bodies are composed of the daily chemi chemicals that we produce and we pay with our disease.
Today, we have the ability to wipe out millions of people first and then cause planetary mass extinction. I'm not an environmentalist. I just value life.